welcome to a very special video at Sadness Girl Garage. Today I'm unboxing the Porsche 911 GT3 RS resin kit from PZY Kitbox and I will give you some news afterwards. Let's get to it and see what's in the kit. Okay, the first thing we see is some instruction sheets. Let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. And we can find several small bags with plenty of parts in them. Another bubble wrap with what seems like the body of a car and a flat plastic envelope with photo edge sheets and other papers. Let's see what's in the body wrap. Alright, there's two bags. I think we'll have to be careful as there are some loose parts. We'll try not to drop them. Oh, there are some other smaller bags inside the body group. We see one, two, three, four, four resin parts, the body and a couple of bags with more parts. Let's see how the body looks. It's quite heavy as it's made out of resin. I can see very fine detail in the body. It's very well molded. I can't see any perfections or bubbles whatsoever. The surface is very, very smooth, no sink marks, no bubbles, no flash, pretty much perfect. Here's the floor of the cockpit, quite simple but well molded. There's not so much detail in the real thing either, so no problem so far. Rear diffuser, big piece of resin with very sharp lines and details. There's those two fins we'll have to be very careful not to break. The front spoiler. floor or chassis. That's a thick plank of resin with very crisp details. Those four holes are for the screws. Now let's get to the little bags. We will find here some air vents for the sides. combination switches stack the wheel of the steering wheel and a tree with a gear shifter pedals and the seat belt buckles The other bag contains one of the two sets of rims the kit comes with. Very well molded and detailed, barely no flesh. The brake discs blocks. Center hubs for the rims. brake calipers that come separate. Thank you. 
Let's get to the rest of the bags. Here's a bag with the other set of rims in the kit and the tires. Again, the detail in these rims is stunning. And take a look at this. The tires are perfectly branded and detailed on the sidewalls, so great. By the way, they are flexible, not rigid. In the next bag, we see some more parts. Some dropped from the tree, but they are alright. The seats, great detail as well. A special thing about them is that the cushion inserts are separate. We also have the rear spoiler supports. The side mirrors. And some other minor parts. This one, there's plenty of parts. Here's the dashboard. I see it's spot on with the real one. The center console. Door cards, and roll cage parts. Another bag filled with more parts. Like the headlights and armrest. Spoiler rings. good touch is that either the door armrests and the center part of the steering wheel are separate from the rest of their own group, so they can be painted separately without the need of masking. Second to last bag contains clear parts. They look 
very detailed and good looking for being clear resin. Also some chrome parts. And black chrome exhaust tips. That you may or may not like. These clear parts show no bubbles in sight, so they look really great. Last bag with parts is this one with seal belt material in four different colors, screws and time turned metal parts. Now the most visual parts. Here's a plastic envelope with four decal sheets and four PE sets and the windows for the car. As we can see, most of the parts in this first decal sheet are carbon fiber parts. They have some highlights due to the protection paper, but no problem whatsoever. A second big sheet with several color options for the GT3 RS stripes. And here's a very nice detail. Depending on the chosen colors, there's the proper stitching for the upholstery. They just have to be applied the usual way with decals. A clear sheet for the windows. They will just have to be cut and peeled off in order to use them. There's also a couple of metal sticker sheets with logos and other stuff. A small photo edge set with several small parts. A bigger PE set with parts like floor mats, license plates, braking discs. Another one with meshes and door seals and rubbers and etc. last nice touch is a PE plate for the display of the model where you can include your name as the builder. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. You can see there's some basic modeling information, the part count, front and back, a chart with different options and the instructions themselves. There's also some reference pictures of the car. Now, I have a very important announcement to make. I've become an official importer and distributor for PZY Kitbox, so from this moment on, I will be importing every kit they launch to make it available in Europe. Once I have them, I'll make sure every part in the box is in good condition, so I'll be sealing each and every box so you know they pass the quality control. I'm getting an e-commerce ready, so there will be an easy way for you to purchase these kits. But in the meantime, you can get further information via email or Facebook. Thanks for watching, 
and see you soon.